Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a cute Roblox TFX profile picture. Except it's going to look way better. Um, like, like I'll show you some adjustments that you can do to the GFX to make it way better. So let's get into let's so let's get into the video. So I'm here at Pixlr.com. Um, when you go to Pixlr, it should look something like this. So, um, you can create an account if you would like to. I'm not sure if you have to have an account to do it, but I use an account, so, yes. Click Pixlr E. For some reason, I was not logged in, so <laughs> I quickly logged in. So, now I am here. I clicked create new, it's under open image, because it should look like that. So under recommended, you have to click social post right there, and then you can name it whatever you want. So I'll just name it PFP example. And don't change the width or the height, and do not do a background, and just click create. And then it should look like this square box. Okay, so first, make sure you're on layer one and choose a color that you like. I'll just do like this color. It's kind of like magenta. And then click on the brush tool. I mean the draw tool. Um, it's, yeah, so it's the draw tool and I would say to put like the size to 500 or just like max, so 1000, and just color the entire thing that color. So then it should just look like a box with that color. So now click layer, add images layer, and add your transparent GFX. And if you do not have a transparent GFX, then make sure to watch a video on one. I do not have a video on how to make it, but I will link in the description. So yeah, uh, there is two versions of the GFX, like how to make. I think there's two versions, but because then you can use any blender you have to do it. So let's get, so let's just add, so <laughs> add your GFX. Okay, so I just added this random GFX I had so I will just make it bigger and I just fit the size I want. You may have to make it smaller depending on how big yours is. So I'll just put it in the center. And actually I'm gonna change the background color. Okay, so I changed the background color. Um, I don't know why it's like, I don't know why it's cats oh i think i made this for my friend um okay so anyways now it's time to make the gfx look better so how are we gonna do that i will tell you right, so okay so let's see how do we make it better i'll tell you so this is just what i like to do i just like to add some more shading to it even though Blender does have some pretty nice shading, I just like to add a little more. So make your color black by clicking on the little circle. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. Um, so make it all black. And make sure you have a new layer. Um, for me, I'm on layer 3, so make sure you click that. And for your brush size, make it um, probably... Depending on how big your GFX is... It just depends on that. I'm gonna do 20, but that's just because that's how big it is. Well, yeah, kind of. So, first you do is you kind of like outline the head. Since, so my character has ha hair, so I'm gonna kind of like outline the outline of the hair, if that makes sense. And it's gonna look all black and really bad, but promise me it's going to look really good. And if your like hand is like this, you can outline that. Though you don't have to. And then I just kind of like outline the 
basically whole body except the hair and like uh, yeah, like it just the uh, I don't know body part I guess um so I'm gonna speed this up but you can just you can slow it down if you want to see what I do so yeah Okay, so my HGFX looks like this right now. I basically just kind of outlined everything. So it just kind of looks like, I don't know, just makes it look like I have more shading. Well, now it's just like a weird black outline. So what do I do? Well, right click layer three and, or well, really whatever number your layer is and change the opacity until you get something that you like which kind of looks like a good shading i'm gonna do like something like this 12. i think that's pretty good and if there's like some mistakes you can erase it and if you like need more in one spot you can add more just make it look a little better like right here, it doesn't really look that good. So I can just erase that in there. Okay, so in a, it also kind of looks like a shadow in some spots or like, or like a drop shadow kind of. So that's cool. And so now click on your GFX image, click filter. And then I like to add outlines. You of course do not have to do an outline but I'd like to add the stroke slash, slash outline. Um, so I'm gonna do white, but you can do any color you want. And if you wanna do an outline, you can do it. If you don't, you don't have to. So I just add that. So after you've added that outline, you want to add a drop shadow and you can make the opacity as much as you want and you can blur it as much as you want you can Make the offset X and Y as much as you want. And I'll do this. Next, I'm going to add a outer, outer glow. So I'm gonna do like a light pink, I think. And it just adds this nice, nice little glow to your thing, <laughs> your thing. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna add some blush. Uh, you don't have to do blush. But make a new layer um, and make sure there's there's layer one, which is the background, and then your um, your GFX, then your shadowing, then your blush. So for my blush, I'm gonna do like this rosy-ish color. I don't know. Um, so you want to make your brush maybe like 150, and then. Uh, make it as soft as you can and just add it where you want your blush you can do it right here and i'm going to change the opacity of it just like that so i can just add some blush wherever i want all right so now we're going to add some overlays i'm going to use this like light ray thing i think it's called and some cute sparkles and just like anything else I feel like I should add. And also on layer one or your background, you can add like an outline if it will let you, it won't let me here. Or a inner glow, just to make it look, you know, cool. Okay, um, so I just added that. So now I'm going to add my overlays. And if you're wondering how you can get a overlay like this, I will tell you, if you want to get a overlay like this, um, you can like go on Google or your browser and just search up like light ray clip art or PNG, no background. Um, and you can find one and you can just put one in. I like to add, put the po opacity down. So just like that. Okay, so now this is optional, but um, you can like add some highlights with a like a lighter tool so you can add another layer. Um, it can be over, uh, I'm gonna make it over the shadow thing and well just make it a very soft brush just like you did for the blush 
and you can add highlights just if you want. I'm going to see how it looks. And you can change down the opacity. Just use that soft brush and change down the opacity. Okay, so I'm done adding my highlights. So now you're done. So all you have to do is click File, um, then Save, and then you can make it a JPG or a PNG, um, whatever you like. And then you can just bank it your profile picture for anything or like give it to a friend. Just, yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and bye.